Hey everyone, my name is Amber. I'm Trace. And I'm back with another reaction video. Today we're doing Nightfall. Farewell. Yep, and we're getting back to Nightfall because they had made a post saying that YouTube was restricting the reach of this vi of this video. I'm guessing due to the topic. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we decided to do it. So if you have any issues with, you know, attempted suicide, bullying, death, um, like it might trigger you or something, might want to skip this video. Um, other than that, we're just going to get into it. Mm, yep, let's see.
okay. <laughs> uh, this is really pretty. Um, yeah, Jessica Mercy just got an amazing, beautiful voice. I really like her voice, and I really like this. And I like that the guy had a Nightwish shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was gonna mention that. If you didn't mention it, I was gonna mention it. Um, <laughs> but how appropriate that he's wearing a Nightwish shirt because this almost feels like something that Thomas would write. Yeah, I was kind of thinking, obviously, this gave me a little bit of poet vibes. Yeah, because it's got, like, that really beautiful section for a while, and then it got heavier and, you know, got a lot more to it. Yeah, and then it had, like, that narration with the, like, more symphonic music that yeah. kind of gave me... I was like, oh, that was kind of like the poet. <laughs> yeah. I was almost, like, um... There was another one. I, I'm so glad at remembering now. There was another one that had a lot of, um, had some narration in the middle of it. So, um, I'm sure, um, you know, Nightfall's obviously a fan of Night, uh, Night Wish, uh, if I can even speak today. <laughs> oh, yeah, especially since, they were, since he was wearing a Night Wish uh, shirt. Mm -hmm. he wouldn't wear, I mean, you wouldn't be wearing a shirt you don't, well, Ben, you don't know. Well, I should say some people do. But... Well, I mean, I think it's just an actor, but, um... <laughs> What you call yeah, it? I know it's an actor, but I'm just saying he had a Nightwish shirt. Yeah, and they wouldn't have put that in there, I'm sure, if it wasn't like... Well, it like it was done... Obviously, it was done on purpose, probably. It was probably chosen specifically because the song kind of gives off a Nightwish vibe. Yeah, but I wouldn't, like we said, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some Nightwish fans in Nightfall. Oh, yeah. Nightwish is, like, very influential in the symphonic scene, like... They're one of the f arguably biggest. Like, yeah, they're not the first, but they're the first like to get decently big. I mean, it helps that they came when they came out. You know, you know, they're starting to get big now with YouTube and everything and the internet. So, um, you know, more people could be inspired by them, hear them. But uh, yeah, this is really good. Uh, I love the vibe. Um, I was a victim of bullying. When I was in school, luckily it wasn't physical, it was just, you know, um, verbal, but, you know. Yeah, but it still, any kind of bullying or abuse, it's like, I mean, I've had a few friends that have attempted suicide, didn't um, actually, they weren't successful, but they attempted. Um, and, you know, that's a hard, like, thing, like, when you're trying to tell people that, are going through a really tough time like that's yeah. causing them to want to end their lives and then especially hard to try to help them when you yourself have never been there so you can't relate exactly no but i've always found sometimes they just need somebody there not necessarily mm -hmm. talking to them sometimes at least some at least in my experience with some of my friends it's more like they feel alone and they just need somebody around them mm -hmm. um yeah jessica's got a beautiful voice the music's good uh this is obviously an important topic yeah very important yeah and i will say like you know the the video is showing really giving people a real visual of you know what the consequences of like abuse and bullying and stuff mm-hmm Let's finish it off. Yeah, let's see there.
so let the tears flow as we bid you adieu. We'll carry your love in everything we do. This is our farewell. A bittersweet goodbye. But we'll hold you close. Forever in our hearts. There you'll lie. Wow. Yeah, this was really, uh, this was really good, like, amazing, I'm, I just like, this was just really good, I, as I said, when we did the first Nightfall, I was like, Starfall, I was just like, oh, I just love just the Mercy's <laughs> voice, I just love it, it's so pretty. Yeah, very pretty, um, I think this one really showed off her voice better than, uh, Starfall. Yeah, this one, well, I will say, like, this one, she was doing, like, a little bit more styles, um, because she had, like, her more sweet, pretty, you know, angelic, more contemporary style, but then we got a more, and then more classical style, and a little bit more power behind the classical in certain areas, um, especially when they had that, like, that heavier guitar riff, and she was, like, being, uh, her classical was more, like, um, more powerful sounding. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, my grandmother had Alzheimer's, so, but it didn't hit as hard because she started developing it in macular degeneration when I was fairly young, you know, like early teens, probably. And uh, for those that don't know, macular degeneration is like, you start going blind, essentially. It starts to look like, um, the size of like a pinprick, and it just slowly builds until... You know, you're essentially blind where you can't see it. Like, it'll take up, like, a good chunk of your vision. So you'll yeah. just have this giant black spot in the middle of your vision where you can't see. Yeah, I know that's more, like, common when you get, like, with older... It's more mm -hmm. common with older people. But, yeah, younger people, I mean, any, you know, any type of disease people anybody can get. But, um, yeah, my grandpa died of Alzheimer's when I was, like, 11 i remember it was harder on my dad you know because mm -hmm. when they start forgetting you and don't know who you are and stuff like that because i remember visiting him in the nursing home he didn't even know who any of us were yeah towards the end my grandmother really didn't know much either um you know all summers mixed with the macular it's just like you can't really tell what is what per se um yeah but yeah that's a hard thing. So, you know, it was probably harder on my parent, my mother and my aunt, obviously, than me as, you know, essentially growing up with her like that. From, you know, when I can really develop and hold on to memories. Yeah, I guess, like, in my case, like, my, my grandpa was, sadly, he died within, like, the year of getting it. So it was like, oh, wow. it was more, it was more of an abrupt thing like yeah he had I, of course um my mom says like she noticed that he was having memory issues for years but it didn't like get really bad till um the like the last year that's when he like 
was really bad off and then he had to go to a nursing home so like i at least i'm happy i at least had 10 years that he remembered who knew i was and stuff like that yeah. but it's still it's, but it's still a sad thing um but back to this like you know this one had you know a, a lot of major important topics and mm -hmm. it was like three or four major ones that um so this was a really good video like i'm I'm really happy we did this one. I had really amazing music. I love the mixture of like the pretty symphonic and then some like heavier elements in there too. Mm -hmm. uh, um, did you notice the Vision of Atlantis shirt? Yes, I did see that. Um, yeah, that's cool. We like Visions of Atlantis too. <laughs> yeah. That's just, you know, obviously you're going to make the music you love. So. These fans that have been around longer are going to have inspired, you know, Nightfall to make music. Yeah, um, it's awesome to see, like, these, I'll say, smaller bands, like, um, because, yeah, Nightfall has amazing potential. They're going to be really successful. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really interesting listening to all the bands that really will take inspiration from Nightwish. You can get Nightfall, you get Notion, and uh, Wishmasters, which they haven't put anything out in a while. I don't think so. But, um, yeah, it's always really fun listening to these bands and seeing, like, okay, you know, like, we love Nightwish, and we love these other bands that, you know, that we ourselves love. So to hear them take and mash together those bands and those styles... To make new stuff is just awesome. It really is. Like, just to see, like, what they're going to come up with. Um, yeah, because this was really good. And, yeah, I mean, really important topics. Um, so I think I'll give this an 8.75 overall. Yeah, I'm going to agree 8.75. Um, you know, important topics, good music. Like, yeah, it was quite, like, softer than my normal, like, stuff that I love. But, you know. Jessica's just got a beautiful voice, so. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, yeah, this one wasn't, like, super heavy or anything, but it did have some heavier, it did have some heavy areas, um, mm -hmm. and, and with the song, with the topics that they're talking about, I mean, yeah, you could, I guess, do some heavy, like, heavier than they did, but, like, I feel like they did it really well, a job well done, yeah. and for their genre, so I'm really excited to hear more. Yeah, same here. So, um, yeah, so please check out links in the description for the video and all of our social media. And we just want to let you know that we have, that both our PayPal and Patreon are open, so please just send us your requests, and the links will be down in the description. Until next time, bye! Bye!